$15,000 in electricity from the district in the process. Take a look at these exclusive images from inside this secret operation buried in a crawl space at Cohasset Middle High School. Coolers, wiring, all packed in and hidden away. Seized from that space, these 11 computers that police say were used to power a crypto mine running on the school's electricity. And according to this police report, it was created by the assistant facilities director, Nadim Nahas, who's now facing charges of fraudulent use of electricity and vandalizing a school. Crypto mining is the way in which a crypto network is kept secure. Babson College Professor of Information Technology Management Steve Gordon is a cryptocurrency expert. He's unaffiliated with this criminal case, but explain the process of crypto mining to five investigates. One of the reasons that they call it mining is that when a miner adds some transactions to the Bitcoin blockchain, they do get rewarded with coins that are created out of thin air. High-powered computers must continually work to solve complex problems, aiming to validate connections and keep crypto transactions secure. When they are successful, miners are rewarded for their efforts with new coins, potentially netting thousands of dollars. But the high-powered computers must run constantly, in turn consuming a large amount of energy. It's estimated that the total amount of energy used in the Bitcoin blockchain would be enough to power a small country like Switzerland or something like that. In a place like Massachusetts, the cost of electricity eats into any potential profits from mining. Does it make any sense to try crypto mining here in New England? Not really. Um, uh, not unless you make an arrangement at some point in time with an energy provider to provide it very cheaply. Police say Nahas operated his crypto mine for eight months, illegally using electricity from the Cohasset school, racking up more than $17,000 in electricity charges.